Hello everyone and welcome to Food for Thought. I'm Pastor Wally. Today we're going to be making garlic butter shrimp in marinara sauce over a bed of orzo. Now if anyone knows me, they know I love shrimp. <laughs> I can have shrimp for breakfast, I can have it for lunch, I can have it for hey, dinner sometimes. Now some people don't like shrimp and I wonder why. They consider shrimp to be, you know, bottom feeders. Some people say they scrape the bottom of the ocean and I actually heard someone say they're considered the roaches of the sea. <laughs> You know, I used to be like this shrimp. I used to feel like this shrimp once in my life. Um, I felt like I was just getting by in life. I really felt like I was at the bottom. But then I met someone who showed me that all I needed to do was just get cleaned up a little bit. You know, get, get the dirt out, get all these things out of me that have been weighing me down, things that made me feel like I was worthless, and give me a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and that's all you need, a little bit of TLC goes a long way. <laughs> now let me put some love in here, put some love in here. So I don't know about you, maybe that's what you feel like in life right now. Maybe you feel, hey, I'm a shrimp. I'm scraping through the bottom of life and I'm not really doing that much with my life. But I tell you today that all you need is just a little bit of cleanup. So it might require a little bit of olive oil, you know, about two tablespoons. <laughs> it might require butter. Get some butter in your life. Some people might have some things that they can tell you that can help you influence your life. Now let's get this melted. All right. So now a little bit of garlic. Mm, I love the smell of garlic. Once this cooks a little bit, let's put the shrimp in there. Now, as you can see, this shrimp has um, turned from an opaque color to a pinkish color, and that's to show you that it's, it's cooked, it's cooking. And you know, that's what the Bible says, that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away and all things have become new. All we need to experience is a little bit of tender love and care from Christ. That's all you need. It makes a big difference. Now, the shrimp is cooked and we have our onions. You know, the funny thing about onions is that they... It might make you cry sometimes. It's okay. It's part of the process. Jesus even cries sometimes. But as long as you know that it's part of it, it's just part of the change, things are happening, just keep it moving. All right, so our shrimp is done. Remember we started with the shrimp who was, who was considered the bottom feeder, um, the cockroach of the sea. The same shrimp has become the center of attraction. You know, the Bible says something in Psalm 118 verse 22. It says the same stone the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. I'm Pastor Wally, and this has been Food for Thought.